Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to make a farmhouse cutting board. So I got one of these cutting boards from a thrift store, and this one's just like a rectangle shaped one. It had no design on it. You can get them at Dollar Tree or look at your local thrift store too. I got this fabric at Dollar Tree. I cannot believe that Dollar Tree had this fabric. It is so cute. I absolutely love it, and you'll need your dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that my cutting board is very clean. I wiped it down with some rubbing alcohol after I washed it and let it dry completely. I'm gonna take my fabric and I'm gonna cut it to the size of the cutting board. Once I have the fabric cut to size, I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and put a thick coat all over the glass and I'm doing this on the underneath side of the cutting board so on the smooth side the other side kind of has like a rough surface so I'm going to make sure that I put a nice thick coat on and I'm focusing on the edges mostly and then some obviously in the center but mostly you want to focus on the edges next I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to use my hands and I'm going to press it on to the cutting board and I'm just going to keep going over it until every inch of it is stuck and you want to smooth it out with your hands you don't have to iron first because once you start pressing it down the wrinkles just disappear so as you can see it's all stuck on now I'm going to add a really generous coat to the back side right on top of the fabric and I'm going to make it so that this fabric is saturated with the Mod Podge and again I'm going to focus mostly on the edges really well on the edges and that is going to make it so that nothing goes underneath the fabric once it dries and that that really gets a good adhesion. And as you can see, I'm using a generous amount. You want your fabric to be saturated. And then again, I'll use my fingers to spread out and make sure that everything is stuck. You can use your paintbrush as you're doing it. I just kind of press down really hard on it to make sure that it's sticking. And then I use my fingers just to make sure that it's fully stuck once you have done the second coat on top of this you're going to let it dry overnight or even for 24 hours if needed until it's fully dry I let mine dry for 24 hours and now it's time to trim off the edges. I'm just going to take a razor blade that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut along the edges. So I just run the razor blade across the glass to pull the excess fabric off. And your fabric should be really, really hard because it's got so much Mod Podge on it that this will just come off and this fabric is very, very stiff. So once I had those cut off with the razor blade, I'm going to take a sanding block from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna go around and make sure that I get all of the edges all the little excess strings that are hanging off or any fabric that I may have missed and this is just gonna give it a smooth edge once I have this all sanded down I'm going to take another coat of the Mod Podge and I'm going to run another thick coat on and I'm going to allow that to dry now this can be washed but it takes 28 days to 30 days for the Mod Podge to cure. I'm not going to use this as a regular cutting board. I'm gonna use it more as a decoration. So I don't have to wait the 28 days to wash it. I can just wipe down the top of it. But if you're going to use it as a cutting board, it's always a good idea to wait the 28 days before you fully submerge it in water. It says it's dishwasher safe, but I always recommend just hand washing. I've been making these for quite a few years and I have given them as gifts and nobody has ever had an issue with them. You just want to make sure that you use a significant amount of Mod Podge when you are doing this project and allowing it to dry and cure for the time it needs. And as you can see, there it is all done. And this is how I set mine up. I think this turned out so super cute. Thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.